Channel 4's Bakari Savage has been in Adel, Georgia now for about the past two hours on the ground. Bakari, you have some new images to show of the destruction, and you've had a chance to talk to some of the people who weathered the storm. Yeah, that's right, Bruce. Um, you know, I want to put this into perspective for people. You can see the bricks right here that came from the first part of the entrance for the driveway to this home. Take a look at this home. You only have one room left standing in this house. You know, fortunately, everyone here survived. It's not the same three miles in that direction for people who live in that mobile home. Uh, but also take a look at this right across the street the house over there is perfectly fine so everyone who lives in these homes these are all the same family um they own a farm in adel they've been here for decades and right now i want to uh, go to an interview that i um, got with jacqueline and jill bullard um, they are the grandkids um, of the people who live in that house right now right now you can see that the family is congregating there um, you guys have to listen to how her uncle aunt and cousin uh, who were in this house how they survived listen jill jacqueline uh just kind of take us through the morning for you all so far well, my granddaddy called my daddy at about 4 o'clock saying that, you know, my uncle's house had got hit by a tornado. We all get up, we come down here. Our farm's destroyed right, right up there across the road. Um, my uncle's house is in half. It's, it's gone. He's in the hospital right now. But um, luckily we're all, we're all safe and we're all okay for the most part. Um, we had some people up there across the road. They got injured pretty bad in some trailers. All the trailers that were up there are gone. Um, Everything that we've had for years and years and years is gone in shambles. So we're we're all happy that we're okay. That's the most important part. But we're you know we're gonna work on getting everything back together shortly. It's just it's it's a mess. This stuff um, had a hog pen back behind this house right here. It's been there for over a hundred years. Gone. Everything that we've had. You know, it's been a family farm for years and it's gone. But we're thankful everybody's okay and we're blessed. So. And Jacqueline, your uncle's house is right across the street from where we are. Your grandparents' house is pretty much almost like one room still standing. Can you tell us about how your uncle survived that and how he was found? He's actually sitting in the living room, and he um he was asleep, and he heard the he thought it was a hurricane. He was you know he went to his wife's room and told her, and then next thing he knows, he's gonna go check on his daughter. She was across the house, and he's coming through, and that's when it came through his house, and he got thrown out there in the ditch um woke up you know he's he's fine for the most part he's in the hospital right now but yeah it was just it was bad his daughter she might have a broke arm but for the, his wife's fine but everything else is gone his truck was parked in front of the house it flipped over a couple times it's that's just how it went for the most part and then that's when we all came up here And as you can see, you know, or as you just heard from them, uh, that is a story of survival. Um, hopefully, we will be hearing more of those in all of this devastation that occurred. But I want you to take a look. You can see, you know, again, just how powerful this storm was. The very top of uh, this electrical pole snapped off and down right there. If you go down the street, Quentin, uh, can you focus in on those lights down there? You see the, uh, the patrol lights. At the end of that street, you have several Georgia power crews working to restore electricity to this area. Uh, uh, you know, there are several areas where we encounter down power lines. Do, you know, if you do see those, contact your local um, power company. Do not go near those because they could very well be live. Um, I mean, this, our coverage is going to continue of this. I, I've not personally seen any devastation like this like this before. Um, and the only thing that I can say is I'm glad that I was able to report um, at least one story of survival. Bruce, back to you.